Welcome to MSPTDA video number 11.5. Yes, in this video, we want to see the amazing View Native Query feature for SQL Connections. Now, this is a follow-up video for video number 11, where we talked about importing SQL data. In this video, we talked about when we use Power Query to get data from an SQL Server database, something happens called Query folding. That means whatever steps we perform in Power Query are sent back so that they can be performed at the SQL Server database side. But in video number 11, I didn't know about the June 2018 update to Office 365 and Power BI Desktop. Because what I said was, there was no way on our side to see what is sent back. And below the comments for video number 11, Alex said, there is this awesome view native query option in both Power Query in Excel and Power BI Desktop that allows us to actually determine which steps are used in query folding. Now, as an example, just download the finished files from our last video open up either in Excel Power Query or over in Power BI Desktop, open up the Query Editor, and there's our steps. And for each one of these steps, we can now easily determine if it's sent back for query folding. I'm going to right-click Navigation, and there it is. If View Native Query is not grayed out, we can click it, and it shows us the actual SQL code that is being used during query folding. You can do this for each step. Right click. It's not grayed out, so I click it, and there's the SQL code. For each step you do that, and for this query, only the last one, right click, it is grayed out. That means that this step was not sent back. Now, this is significant. If this step was grayed out right here, it would mean that all of the remaining steps were not sent back to the SQL Server. So when you're constructing a query, if a step is grayed out and you didn't need to do this step till the end, save it till the end, because possibly some of the intermediate steps can be sent back for query folding. And of course, over in Power BI Desktop in Applied Steps, right click, there it is, View Native Query. The SQL code, that means it's being sent back. Now, here's a great article by Devin Knight. This was just posted a few days ago, and this is the one I read to figure out how to use View Native Query. It's amazingly simple, but this is a pretty cool article. You should go check it out. And thanks to our awesome online Excel team, Alex, and this great tip. And we'll see you next MSPTDA video number 12. All right, we'll see you next video.